times we're living in call for more than just numbers, parts per million and bottom lines. They call for our heads and our hearts, using the power of both to forge courageous, meaningful, long-term action. We are part of a dynamic and interconnected ecosystem that needs diversity and complexity to function. We are a part of nature, not apart from nature. Nature is the foundation upon which our societies and our economies are built. Thank you everybody for coming today. For those that don't know me, I'm Heather Buchanan. I'm co-founder and chief executive of Bankers for Net Zero. So we convene the UK country chapter of the Net Zero Banking Alliance. The big things, of course, is even people understanding climate change. Today is very much just about kind of going through the experience. Hopefully you'll be able to take it away and go to your own organizations and potentially use it. It's great that the Bankers for Net Zero and the Cayman Island government are holding, for the first time in Parliament today, a fresh workshop. We all need educating in the facts about climate change. Cayman Island is particularly important because it's a huge store of nature and biodiversity, particularly marine biodiversity. And we need much better public understanding and engagement on climate issues. People involved in the game, learning about the climate, interacting, and over a million people have taken part in a climate press. So it's a really big and growing part of the climate movement. One of the things that's phenomenal about the climate fresque is the interactive nature of this exercise. I think having done it, I was really struck by the experience of kind of combining, you know, head, heart, hands, um, and, and learning and growing through what really became an, an emotional, you know, psychological, but also an emotional experience. Our children will not forgive us if we leave them a world of withering heat and devastating storms where sea levels rise and extreme temperatures force millions to move because their countries are no longer inhabitable. You recognize what we have contributed to doing, but also you're empowered in recognizing that we can now, it's not too late, that we can facilitate change, we, we can create the change that we want to see in the world around us and so hopefulness that we can be part of the change that needs to happen so that we are leaving a planet for our children and our grandchildren. Moving the climate crisis from our heads to our hearts is an important part of the journey. Emotions, not just knowledge, are the key to driving action. And therein lies the essence of creating transformative change and seeing the magic happen. If we save nature, we save ourselves. Mm -hmm.